Welcome back. We're still exploring this town, trying to figure out what happened and what we're doing here. Let's see if we can find something in here. Looks like a bedroom. Kind of a weird place for a bedroom, but sure. Overgrown as well. A newspaper article. Looks like it's just an obituary. It's an obituary. Marilyn Lee Driscoll, age 32, died Saturday. Husband, Jetta. Daughter, Carol. And son, Lawrence. Okay, that's the uh, woman who died that we read about earlier. Guess she had a son and a daughter as well. A diary. No name on it, but it looks like a little kid's writing. Normally I wouldn't read somebody's diary, but I guess we have no choice. Here's an early entry. I wish mommy wasn't so sad all the time. She cries a lot. She says that daddy drinks too much. Daddy's been staying in the patch until dark. When Dad comes in, he yells at Mommy and they fight real bad. He yells a lot lately. Hmm. Another entry. Mommy's up in heaven now. Dad said she had an accident and God took her away. I miss her a lot. I wish she were here to stop Dad from drinking so much. Dad smells bad when he drinks that stuff. He gets real mad and he starts hitting me. Okay, this just got worse. This must be one of the Driscoll kids. And if I didn't already think the dad had something to do with the wife's death, then now I definitely do. And it seems he was abusing the kids as well. Nice. Skip a few pages here. Today was a bad day. A big rock fell out of the sky and hit our barn. Dad's real mad about that and all the vines that are growing out of it. He was gonna cut them down, but Father O'Toole wouldn't let him. Now Dad's even more mad because we're gonna lose all our pumpkins. Okay, I guess the comet landed here. And is responsible for the vines somehow. That seems really weird. Would have expected a comet landing here to do an awful lot more damage. As in, like, leveled the town. Last entry. Prayed to mommy again today. I hope she heard me because I had to be real quiet so dad wouldn't find me. He was hitting me again and it hurt a lot this time. I hid out by the rock in the barn. It's warm and makes me feel good. Sometimes I can even hear music coming out of it. Okay, definitely something weird about this comet. One more for the list of things that are definitely not ominous. I guess this is the barn where the comet must have fallen. It looks like a barn. The vines are thicker around the barn. Which I guess makes sense if they're... If they come from the comet. But it also means you can't go that way, so... That's not very helpful. Let's check over here. There's an overgrown house. Hmm. This door is locked. Whose door is locked, so that's not big, uh, not a big help. And this, is this the same house? I don't know. I guess it's a general store. Store. That might contain something useful. Hmm. This door is locked. But that door is also locked. Maybe this kid will be able to help us? His face looks like it's melting. Okay. Hi. What's your name? Marty Dodd. What's your name? 
Okay, um, I guess... Melting is a pretty apt description. My name is Max. Oh, I got a cousin named Max. You have the same name as his. But you're not my cousin? No, we're not. Well spotted. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? Um, I have a ball. I can bounce it. That sure is a nice ball. I used to have one just like it. Really? This one's mine. Okay, he's just dodging the question entirely. Why aren't you playing with the others? I like my ball. And ride. Be careful. Mr. Piggy is almost broke. Um, the rides are actually kind of missing with the text overlay. It's kind of weird. No help with getting into the store. These are rides, I guess. What is this? Some kind of sick horse? Fun! I should ride the rest. Okay, I guess so. Wait, no, didn't mean to do that. Fun! I should ride the rest. A spring pig. Cute. I guess? Cute enough. Um, he did say to be careful with that one, but let's try to ride it anyway. Ouch! Alright, I guess we weren't careful enough. Now I have a spring pig. Joy. Just what I've always wanted. A big, ugly duck. <laughs> well, I'm glad he's enjoying himself. Um, looks like the bridge is out this way. Spring flood must have washed out the bridge. Needs some kind of stepping stone. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We'll look at that later. I'm gonna explore this side a bit more first. Child deaths worldwide. Experts are baffled as to the cause of these deaths, which leaves us to wonder, can anyone put a stop to the loss of our children? Feel dizzy. Okay, that seems to have triggered another, like, vision of some kind. Looks like that was some kind of news report about kids dying. That seems to be the opposite problem of what we're seeing in this town, though. And it's a cemetery. Headstone. It says, Mike N. Killed by tainted meat. Okay. Interesting. It's that vegetarian thing again. C. Driscoll. Missed dearly by mother. C. Driscoll. Driscoll's the lady who died, but she was Marilyn. C might be Carol, the daughter. But she died after the mom. So I guess the mother mentioned here is not her actual mom. <laughs> um, looks like there are a bunch of kids hanging out here. Let's talk to them. Kids got an extra arm. I bet that comes in handy. What's your name? What's it to you, dumbass? Nothing. Certainly nothing worth getting dunked in the river over, don't you think? Jeez, mister. Don't get all bent out of shape. I was just kidding. My name's Dennis O'Toole. What's yours? I like how the kids are pretty rude, but then Max is just rude right back. My name is Max. Hmm. That figures. What a stupid name. Um, O'Toole was the preacher, wasn't it? The newspapers mentioned a Reverend O'Toole. Are you related to him? Yeah. He's my old man. I'd like to speak to your father. Is he close by? No, <laughs> oh, he's really close. But you can't talk to him. Why not? Because only mother's allowed to. Okay. I hope that saying he's really close doesn't mean that he's, like, in the cemetery. 
Oh god, we're not gonna have to dig up graves, are we? Only mother? You mean you're not allowed to see your own father? Yep. Mother says that they got to learn about raising us kids, so we should leave them alone. Alone where? Hmm. How dumb do you think I am? I ain't no squealer. Still nobody wants to tell us. Is that your father's church across town? Uh-huh. That's St. Michael's church. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? <laughs> Mother took care of them. In fact, I'd watch my step if I were you. After all, you're the only adult in town, and Mother don't like adults. Watch my step? I've had enough of you and your little threats, kid. Whoa! Calm down, mister. I was just telling you to be careful, that's all. What is going on here? Why do we need to be careful of mother? What has she done with the other adults? Talk to the other kids. This kid's just a little more than a baby. Apparently really likes lollipops, because there's a lot of them. Hi there. What's your name, kid? Derwick, what's yours? My name is Max. Hi, Max. I'm Derwick. Uh, yes, I know. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? I don't know. Why are all you kids here in the cemetery? Because Dennis says so. Okay. I guess Dennis is the leader of this gang or something? Her, her legs are like tree roots. Okay. That's weird. That's not even a normal like, deformation. Hello, young lady. What's your name? Eileen Daly. What's yours? Hey, Eileen. Wasn't that the other girl who beat Jesse at tic-tac-toe? Uh, my name is Max. That's a nice name. I guess so, since we can talk about it. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? They just sort of, well... They just went away. Away? To where? They left you kids all alone? Oh, we're not alone. Mother is here to take care of us. Yeah, I'm sure. We're not really getting anywhere, are we? Basically, all these kids just tell us the same story. Where is your mother? I'd really like to talk to her. Gee, I'm sorry, Mr. Max, but we're not supposed to tell no one. Why not? Because Mother doesn't want to be disturbed while she's resting. Okay, I guess she's resting. Why are all you kids here in the cemetery? Our leader, Dennis, likes to play hide-and-go-seek here. Can I play a game of hide-and-seek with you? You'd have to ask Dennis, but I'd rather not play right now. I was just going to plant my pretty pumpkins. You like pumpkins, huh? Mm-hmm. I like the pretty orange color. Orange, huh? That reminds me of a story that Billy told me. Oh, yuck! Did he tell you that awful cat story? That's gross, huh? Yeah, just like Billy. Okay. Do you play tic-tac-toe with Jessie? Yeah, she thinks she's the best, but I beat her seven times. Wow, seven times? I don't think Jessie's as good at, the, at that game as she thinks she is. Maybe she should stop letting other people go first. It would probably help. Poor misshapen kid. What's your name? Well, since all the adults went away, everyone calls me Lumpy. Um, I think I'd rather know your real name. Do you have another name? A real name? Well, my real name is Larry, but no one calls me that anymore. What's your name, mister? My name is Max. It's not as cool as my name, but it's okay. 
I guess that means you ain't a stranger no more, so I can talk to you, right? Uh, right. Sure, that's a good lesson to teach him. I guess we don't have much of a choice, though. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? Mother says we're not supposed to talk to anyone about that. Especially you big people. Sorry. I read the town newspapers and saw some articles about a man named Jetta Driscoll. Was he your father? Yeah. Okay, so he's the son. And I guess the daughter and mom are both dead. I wonder what happened to the dad. Well, disappeared along with all the rest of the adults, I guess. I'm sorry to hear about your mom, but if she's dead, who is this mother that you keep talking about? She's my new mom, and she promised me that she won't ever go away. How can she promise that? I mean, we all, uh, go away. Nuh-uh. Mother said we'll live forever after she's finished with us. Now that's definitely ominous. One more kid over here. The boy's face is mottled and leafy. Weird. Got tree root legs and leafy face. What is this mother doing to these kids? Hi there. What's your name, kid? My name's Marcus. Marcus Williams. What's yours? My name is Max. Hi, Max. I guess you're not a stranger anymore. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? Mother made them go away. Away? To where? Sorry, mister, but I'm not allowed to tell you. Why are all you kids here in the cemetery? Because Dennis likes it here. I guess if we want to play hide and seek, we need to talk to Dennis. <laughs> Your name is Dennis O'Toole, right? That's my name. Don't wear it out. Why are all you kids here in the cemetery? Because we like it here. The other little kids are too chicken to play here. Why? What do you play? They play kid games like tic-tac-toe. We play hide-and-go-seek. And we're the best. Heck, we even have a prize you can win. A prize, eh? Definitely interested in that. What makes you think you're the best? Because we have a secret weapon. Really? What is it? If I told you, then it wouldn't be a secret. Fair enough, I guess. A prize for winning, huh? What is it? The keys to the town store. There's lots of cool stuff inside. Our fort, our candy, everything. Oh, I do want that. Not the candy, but I do want the key. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. Could you tell me the rules? Yeah. It's so simple, even you can play. You cover your eyes and count to ten. We'll all go hide, and then you try to find us. If you find any of us, we go back to base, the angel at the center of town. If you can find all of us, you get the key. Well, that sounds pretty easy. Ha! Huh. You say that now, but just wait until you try to find us. I guess we should try to play. Get that key. Can I play a game of hide and seek with you? Yeah, if you really want to show everyone what a big fat loser you are. That's it, big mouth. You'd better pray that I don't find you. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. <laughs> Our day must have run fast if we only counted to ten. Well, they said that they um, played hide and seek in the cemetery, so they should be really easy to find, right? Yuck! But they're not in here. A decaying corpse. What a god awful stench! I wonder if that's one of the adults. I hope not. It's not normally how you bury people. No one there, though. How about in this shed? I don't know what it is. Oh, more tic-tac-toe. 
being played here. Nobody hiding in here. There's a lantern, which we can't get, which is very unadventure game like. A crowbar should come in handy. But there is a crowbar. A crowbar should come in handy. I guess so. Yeah, despite the fact that they said that they were playing, that they were in the cemetery to play hide and seek, when they actually go hide, they hide everywhere except the cemetery. So we just need to find them in the town, which isn't too hard. Actually, I don't go behind know why, here. But something about their singing makes me uneasy. Okay, yeah, that is creepy. They're like worshiping this pumpkin. Creepy kids. Their voices so haunting. Shut up! Shut up! I can't take it anymore. Kind of hard to make out, but I think it's something like, don't go into the pumpkin patch. Because if you do, you won't come back. Mommy says to stay away. If you want to play another day. Okay, that's pretty creepy. Hey, wait a second. I think we spotted a kid over there. There you are. He just breaks the barrel. And runs off. You have to wait for that, unfortunately. It's kind of annoying. So he goes back to the center of town, like they said. We have to find a total of um, five kids, because those were the kids that were in the cemetery. And they're all in town somewhere. Maybe there's one in here. There is not. So this still serves no purpose. How about the schoolhouse? Why are these doors boarded up? We couldn't get in here before, but now we have a crowbar. A crow that was a lot easier than it looked. God, so many corpses. It's horrible. Oh, wow. I think we might have found the adults. Decayed bodies. Are these the parents? If I asked the kids directly, it might upset them. And we did find uh, Dennis himself, who was hiding with the corpses. Was this his secret weapon that he's like able to get in here when he thought we wouldn't be able to? If so, it's not, you know, that big of a secret weapon. There you are. My god. What kind of hiding place is this? And he leaves. But I guess, yeah, the adults are all dead. It's kind of what we already fought, but now we know for sure. Decayed bodies? Are these the parents? If I asked the kids directly, it might upset them. Sometimes you can't skip these things, which is kind of weird. I guess we don't need to ask them where the parents are anymore, though. But we can't ask them about it, because, you know, he's too afraid to upset them, so... Um, let's see. Church would be a good hiding place. And looks like I'm right. Aha! What? It's a weird way to jump out of there. And from here, you can kind of almost already see the next kid. You can just see their feet in the tree up there. Otherwise, this is, I think, the hardest kid to find, because 
that area behind the church there, it's kind of hard to even be, uh, know that you can go there. Like, this kind of looks like you may not be able to pass. So, if you missed that, you would never think to go here. There you are! Alright, one more to go. In the town hall, perhaps? Doesn't look like it. Maybe one of them is, way, is uh, hiding inside the, to the store. Which means we couldn't find them without first finding them. To get the key. That would be a good secret weapon. Uh, let's see if somebody's over here, though. And looks like we found them. Aha! They always move, which also makes it a little bit easier to spot them. All right. Well, looks like we found them all. That wasn't too hard. Now we just need to tell Dennis and he'll give us a key. A secret weapon of theirs didn't amount to much, did it? As promised, they're all here. Looks like Eileen, uh, I think that's Eileen, is planting her pumpkin like she said she would. Huh. That wasn't so tough. I found everyone in one fair and square. Now give me the key to the store. Hmm, you big goat! You forgot about our secret weapon! Um, no I didn't. I should have known you would cheat. What kind of crap are you trying to pull? Hey, don't get upset, mister. I told you the rules, I told you about the secret weapon, and you didn't win. What are you talking about? I found all of you. <laughs> you didn't find all of us. What? You didn't find Carol. She's our secret weapon. <laughs> She's the best there is at this game. She's been hiding a long time. Okay. So there's a sixth kid? Where's she supposed to be then? Maybe some of the other kids will be able to help us your name's Marcus right uh-huh Dennis said that Carol is the secret weapon in this game who is she she was my best friend well where is she I don't know she went away right about the same time as all the adults I miss her a lot we used to float boats together I'm sorry to hear that she went away but why does Dennis call her his secret weapon? I don't know. Maybe she's hiding somewhere. Dennis won't tell the rest of us. He just says if anyone tries to win hide and seek, they have to find Carol. I bet he doesn't know where she is either. Yeah, he's tricky like that. Okay, great. Does nobody know where she is? That might make things difficult. Don't go there. Too far away. Not from here. Your name's Derek, right? Uh-huh. Dennis said that Carol is the secret weapon in this game. Who is she? She's my brother's best friend. He always plays with that stupid girl instead of me. Well, where is she? I don't know. Again, not very helpful. I guess those two are brothers then. They weren't part of the game, but maybe they know something. You're cheating, Jesse. Just Guess not, but we can talk to her about Meg and Eileen, which might be interesting. Meg told me that she's beaten you at her game four times. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. I guess Meg did beat me a few times. I thought you were the champion, Jesse. Eileen said she whipped your butt at this game. She told me that she beat you seven times. Liar, liar, pants on fire. 
She only beat me four times. What about last Thursday? That didn't count. It started to rain. Did so? She put down her ex before it all washed away. Fine. But she only beat me five times, not seven. So Meg beat me four times. Eileen beat me five times. But you only beat me once, Mr. Smarty Pants. Okay, so I guess Eileen beat her five times, not seven. Why we care about that, I don't know. Nothing to say to him. How about Eileen herself? Your name is Eileen, right? Mm-hmm. Did you forget already? Dennis said that Carol is the secret weapon in this game. Who is she? <laughs> She's our best player, mister. Well, where is she? Gee whiz, I can't tell you that. Then she wouldn't be our secret weapon. Okay, still not very helpful. We can't confront her about the hideous lie about the number of tic-tac-toe wins. Looks like she's done with the shovel. A shovel. Looks like you're all done planting your seeds. Can I borrow your shovel now? Go ahead, I'm all done. Mother will be so proud of me when she wakes up. I win again, Billy. You can't I guess never, Mother really never, likes pumpkins. All right, one more kid to ask, although I don't have high hopes at this point. I win again, Everyone calls you never, Lumpy, never, right? Never, yeah, it's because of this hump I got, I guess. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so, kid. Dennis told me that Carol is his secret weapon. Do you know what he's talking about? Gee, I don't know. I haven't seen her for almost a year. Dennis must know something that I don't. I wish he'd tell me where she was hidden. Hmm. That's not very helpful either. Guess we'll have to figure out where Carol is hiding ourselves. But we'll have to do that in the next video.